Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today I am going to talk about my third leaderboard for Mr. World 2019. So the contestants have already arrived in the Philippines and have already started the sports competition. So this is my current top 20 based on everything that I have seen. I did not base it on how they look during the arrival because I know some are really tired. So I just waited for a few days, which is why some are already asking for me to release my post-arrival leaderboard. So this is it. I have based on everything that I have seen compared to how I think before and of course whom I think could really do well and one factor as well that affected the list is during their presentation the way they they carry themselves the way they speak in public and many other factors so these are my current top 20 starting with number 20 Greece Thomas Chekos now this one is gorgeous he's much much better than what you see in photos he looked amazing in motion and I was truly impressed with how he looked during the presentation love those glasses because he is giving us that nerdy but hot look I just wish he'll smile more because this is a pageant. However, I see great potentials. There's something on my forehead. I really hate it. My number 19 is Myanmar, Sai Kong Min Tet, another young contender in the competition. He is currently pursuing his degree in engineering and he has been very active in different charities. I don't see him as someone who could really go far in Mr. World, but with his profile, good looking face and personality, I think he could crack up a spot in the top 20. My number 18 is Honduras, Dario Paredes. I am not really a fan of him beauty wise, but after watching his profile video and how he's doing in the competition, I have a feeling that he could potentially get the tickles of Mr. World Organization and get a placement. He is very articulate, plus he's very active. He's an active volunteer at children shelters and he's an also he's also an actor who appeared in many shows and films if you watch his profile video you'll understand what i mean I mean number 17 is england jack hazelwood i am not sure why but i have a feeling that he is still holding back i still don't feel that he is giving his all when it comes to confidence yes he is very handsome plus he is a rocket scientist which is really impressive. He looks amazing compared to how he looked during the previous pageant he participated in, but really needs to push more. I know he will place without a doubt, but he just needs to push more if he wants to get a higher placement. My number 16 is El Salvador, David Pivaral. I still love El Salvador. He's got a great personality, actually better than what I am expecting. And he looks great. He also got a very beautiful profile video, but same as others, probably he really needs to work on standing out as well. My number 15 is Indonesia, Radit Wayo Senoputru. He is so, so cute and so adorable. I love his very young and fresh aura. He is very handsome and he's got a great body, which of course is really amazing. And he speaks very, very well. I do not see him winning this competition though, but I do see him as someone who could potentially place. I mean, number 14 is Thailand, Anaki Nontiprasit. For some reason, I am actually sensing some strong determination from this one to do very very well in the competition he's been working very very hard even before arrival and everything is doing well with him he is well styled from his arrival to presentation he looked amazing he speaks very well and I am positive that he will be up there just maintain it and be consistent my number 13 is Puerto Rico Jose Humberto Cotto another potential candidate in the competition but I think he did not meet my expectations by a tiny tiny margin I think one of the reasons is other contenders have also leveled up their game and came to the competition very very strongly don't get me wrong I still like him very much and I still see him as someone who could do very very well but he just needs to hustle because everyone is fighting hard to win my number 12 is Spain Daniel Torres Spain obviously did not disappoint he looked very, very handsome and could easily be considered as the best face in the competition. But come on, Spain. I want to see him with more confidence and step up his game more. He's got all the goods. I just need to see him work on everything, level up everything, and stand out. My number 11 is Canada, Alessandro Coward. He is 21 years old, and this is the first time 
He made it in my leaderboard. I know he's handsome, but I'm not really sold on beauty yet because he was too model-ish for me. But now that he's here, I am truly, truly impressed with how handsome he looked and he looked fresh and vibrant. Aside from that, I'm sorry, but I'm hearing something. Aside from that, he speaks very, very well and he expresses himself very well too. And I think he mentioned that he's got an autism, so that's another impressive feat for him. So well done, Alessandro. My number 10 is Czech Republic, Jacob Kraus, and here we go again. Jacob definitely is one of the most charming candidates this year. As what I have said before, he doesn't really go as a heavy favorite, but when the competition starts, he always managed to do very, very well. His charm, his smile, and his looks are just irresistible. Now, he just needs to play a different but better game because Mr. World is different from other male pageants. My number nine is India, Vishnu Rai Menon. There are moments where I am a bit disappointed with his looks, especially during Arrival, which explains why I did not make my leaderboard after Arrival because I still have to wait for them to recover after long travels. But I am happy that he is growing on me again. I also like his personality and as always, one of the best bodies in the competition. Will he win a back-to-back? -back? I don't see that happening yet. But I think he will still play high. My number eight is Austria, or Albert Nodale. Now this one surprised me very, very much. Although I am still not a huge fan of his styling 100% and I am still having issues with consistency on how he looks, but I think it could be worked on. What really surprised me about him is that he is a professional speaker, a university lecturer, and business coach, which obviously made him a great speaker. He's actually well-spoken and he got the best introduction video in my opinion and also he is an ambassador of icdo which promotes cultural diversity honestly if he could work on his styling and looks and can also be able to maintain how good he is when he speaks i have a feeling that he could potentially pull a top five placement my number seven is lebanon jean paul bitar i am actually a huge fan of lebanon but one thing that i cannot feel from him is his confidence. I mean, he's confident in some ways, but I'm not fully convinced. He looks great. He's got a great physique and strong profile too when it comes to charities and advocacies. But after arrival, I am missing that wow factor. He could be a contender, but I don't see him winning as of this time. I still might change my mind, but it depends on how he does on the next days to come. My number six is Brazil, Carlos Franco, one of the most consistent candidates when it comes to physical attributes. He looked very handsome, he is styled very well, and he's got a great personality. He can also speak English, so that's good. I do not see him as a winner as of the moment, but with his quality, he could be somewhere on top of the ranking. My number five is Mexico, Brian Foguier, another candidate that really made me happy after his arrival. He looked great than I expected him to be. He also speaks English very well and content-wise, he also speaks very, very well when he was interviewed. We just witnessed Mexico winning Miss World and a possibility of Mexico winning Mr. World is also, is also very high, but he needs to face some very strong contenders first to achieve that feat. My number four is Kenya Kula Budi. I am so, so thrilled and happy because Kenya was actually one of my favorites prior to arrival. And now that he is, he is here, he actually delivered. He is definitely the, one of the strongest black delegates in my opinion. He's got the looks, he's got the confidence, and all the strong profiles to back him up. But his great asset is definitely his interview skills because he is also a great speaker and I always love listening to him when he talks because he sounds smart and very genuine. My number three is Philippines, JB Saliba. I am quite impressed with JB because he is one of the very decent contenders that the Philippines have ever sent to a male pageant. He looked very handsome, he is well spoken, he is smart and one of the best bodies in the competition. I am not sure if Mr. World Organization is going to give him the victory, but honestly, I think he's got a high chance 
of winning the title as well and he will not complain if he does. My number two is South Africa, Fezile Makize. I am not sure if those who are working in medical fields are going to do well in Mr. World because they always do well in Miss World. Well, for South Africa, we have a doctor right here. Plus, he looks great. He's got a very charming and attractive smile. He's got a great body and I loved him during the presentation. But they haven't seen his introduction video yet. If he will do well in interviews, I think he can easily be considered a potential winner. And we might have our first Mr. World from Africa with him. My number one currently for Mr. World 2019 and this came as a surprise to me as well because this is also his first time in my prediction. My current winner and number one in my leaderboard is Dominican Republic, Alejandro Martinez. Biggest surprise during the arrival. He's miles, miles better when he competed in a different pageant before and when he arrived, I was wowed by his presence. During the presentation, I was wowed once again. He's a child psychology major and an actor and got his own nonprofit organization for children with children with disabilities autism and learning problems he is very very confident he can speak English well and with his qualities I do see him as a potential and strong contender to win the title so that's it these are my current top 20 for Mr. World 2019 my third leaderboard so what do you think don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future so for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines